All right, we are back. So full disclosure, uh, let me let me go pull up the map. Um, where is the map? Can you not? Oh, is it? No. Um, and in this episode, I'm not really sure the extent of everything I'm gonna go get up to. Um, cause there is quite a lot. Um of empty space, sort of, between here and the next big objective. Um, so this is the occupied town of, I think this is Tsen. Um, I don't know if there's, oh, there's Albrook, sorry. I'm not really sure there's, there's a ton here. I think there's a couple of weapon upgrades we can pick up, Venom Claws. Bastard sword, okay. That's a interesting name. Okay, this is another knife for uh, Shadow. I think you can actually recruit Shadow around here. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up two of these. Um, and this way, uh, Celeste can have access to Runic again. Uh, because you can't use Runic if you're not using a sword. There we go. Talk to this guy. Two weapons, uh, ultimate weapons, we're using the War of Magi. One was a sword whose blade formed for the world of strength, the other was a monster. Alright. Okay, then send this to the north and Miranda's to the west. Uh, this temple of empire, great. Go in armor shop. Empty. Empty? Um, hey, dude. Commissioned a painting for me. What kind of painting should I do? I don't know, man. Another great time to do a artist block for the biggest dictator in the in the world. Uh, Priest's Miter. Okay. I don't think this is the best stuff here. I think I think we can actually pick up some stuff that is slightly better. Supports off limits. Relic store. Amulets. Poison darkness and zombie. Eh. I'm gonna go just buy another earring. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm down to a thousand gil. Uh, yeah, this place is a little bit, uh, too drutch to mink. <laughs> too much to drink. Yeah, they're just peeking at the dancers, I guess. No, I don't have any money. and you'll regret it. Alright. I don't think there's much to do in Albrook, uh, in all honesty. Uh, like I said, there's just a bunch of empty space between us and the next like big objective, and I'm not really sure how uh, that's going to play out in that sort of episode, episodic format. Um... So, Vector is right here. So we can we can hop in if we'd like. Like I said, I really wish I I remember to open up the map. Um, square. Oh, okay. Ah, here we go. Uh, Alright, so here's the blackjack right there. Uh, okay, and of course it'll only show us the places that we haven't... that we've been already. Uh, there are a couple grayed out spots that, you know, you can't go back to anymore. 
I like when uh, the place on the river, uh, kind of the, to the up left of uh, upper left of uh, the Velt. All right, so I'm gonna go and head north. I believe I believe this is Miranda up here. We're gonna run into a couple enemies on the way. I'll kind of show them off, I guess. Um, Things are, you know, marginally tougher here. I don't think it's, it's a super big uh, difference. It's not like a huge power spike. Um, oh, come on, lock. So, I, I in between episodes, I uh, found out what uh, uh, stamina does. Stamina basically uh, inf positively influences status effects on you so wait how much damage did that do did I only do 50 or was that just the poison damage um who's gonna level up next Sabin I'm actually gonna so yeah like I said it, it positively impacts uh, status effects so it limits poison damage and improves regen having stamina um, sometimes it can uh, prevent you from uh, from taking certain status effects oh this is Sen, not Miranda okay all right slaughtered by the Empire jeez yeah kid and I do not have money to afford anything here I don't know why I'm visiting air knife nah it's not that good Moon Ring Blade and Boomerang, these are both uh, uh, weapons uh, that can uh, that do the same amount of damage on the back row as the front row. I don't really care with the main gauche. I'm I'm just evading, you know, every other attack or every third attack. So I'm not super uh, concerned. I think these guys don't have a uh, an armor store. I'm not going to stay at the inn. I've got tents and uh, cure if I need it. Huge gate deep inside a cave on the eastern edge of this continent. Yeah, I think there's no... Uh, oh, no, no, there is an armor store. I just completely walked past it. And you can purchase... Uh, Mithril Helms is the new big thing. Um, let's see, can I sell, how much can I sell all my, uh, uh, da, 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 da. just cleaning a couple things out, maybe I'll go and cut this out. Alright, I bought three Mithril Helms and I only equipped one. Oh, well, whatever. I, I just like the green ber berets and the uh, twist headbands, like, added uh, uh, stuff. So I believe there should be a chocobo forest here, or chocobo stable. And I'm just going to go and use this, because it is a guaranteed way to avoid, um, avoid encounters. And then we get this uh, funky uh, chocobo bee anyway. So, can I go on the outside of here? Okay, we can. Yeah, this is kind of just a far trek. I didn't want to go make this on foot. Alright, so there's two things down here. I know one of these is a chocobo forest, but there's another... Location right here? Hmm, maybe they'll come in to play later. Oh, shoot. These guys have uh, a couple of things. Uh, a couple of spells, I think, if 
that are dependent on levels. So they have like level 3 confuse or something. So if they use that on you and one of your party members has a level that's divisible by 3, um, it will uh, cast confuse on you. I believe that these are the kind of, these are the guys that have that kind of um, kind of guys that have the, those spells. Um, there's a chocobo stable. Where is it? Here. Where are you? Oof. These guys can petrify? Maybe I'm making all this up. I, I don't I don't remember off the top of my head exactly uh everything. be almost dead. Man, Locke is missing a lot. No, don't like that. Okay, Edgar learn Cure and Libra. Alright, so Celeste is about to level up. I'm pretty sure I have uh, Kieran or Kate Sith on her. Yeah, the one that teacher gives her a magic plus one. And then after that, it'll be a while, and then it's lock again. But Siren has HP plus 10%. Alright, so this is Miranda. Rooms are 200 guild per night. I'm not going to be staying. I'm just going to go and steal from here. Oh, there's nothing there. And I'm not sure if Miranda has much different stuff from uh, Zen. Nothing we can do about it. How long do I have to put up with this? Uh, Mithril Mail. Okay, new uh, armor that I cannot afford. Oof. I, I was saying in a previous episode oh, I never had problems with money. That must not be true. Sun was forced into pure army. There's another weapon store here. Alright, at least this doesn't have... I guess the trident's uh, new. I can sell the mithril spears, spears now, can't I? I'm gonna go buy a trident. Um, you'll see why a little bit later on, uh, or it'll come handy, come in handy later on. So everyone's just watching the, the dog fight. Yeah, get him. Now, if we go in here, talk to this person. My beloved has replied to my letter. I'm sick with worry. So this is Laura. She is the, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, there, there's a guy back in, I think it was Mobley's. Um, <laughs> Aisha, my love. Uh, there's a guy back in Mobley's, uh, I think, um, who you could, um, who you talked to, and he was, yeah, you had to read him the letter, uh, that his love sent him, well, this is his love, so, I, I forget what his name is, is it Duncan? Duncan, no, Duncan and Isadora from different Final Fantasy, hmm, alright, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure there is a Chocobo stable here, um, but, uh, if not, well, we're just gonna have to walk, and I'm probably gonna tent up halfway through. Um, you know what? How about, how about I do that? I'm gonna go and, uh, walk to, walk back to Vector, the capital. Um, I'm gonna go and, uh, just 
heal up. If there are any n unique or uh, new enemies, I'm gonna go and uh, maybe show that encounter, but everything else I'm not going to. This will let me get my gill up a little bit. Um, yeah, this will let me get my gill back up a little bit. Okay, critical. Didn't seal either time. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just meet you at Vector, uh, which is the next place we're supposed to go. It's the kind of like castle looking thing. Um, that's, that's where we're heading. All right, here's a new enemy. You only encounter these in the desert. Um, I think there's a couple more enemies in the desert. Uh, kind of unique desert enemies. Hopefully this doesn't heal them. Good. Yep, so there might be one or two more. I'm going to go and kind of grind up for encounters in the desert, a few of them, just so that I have the enemies in the bestiary. Uh, enemies here will, uh, you know, will still be present after this, so you can always go and get these back. Here we go. Here are fossil dragons. These things can be... A little bit scary um, they can cast uh, or they can apply a, a zombie effect uh, the holy water that Locke just stole uh, yep there bone will go and zombify uh, one of your uh, characters um, and they kind of just go berserk and do whatever so if you use item holy water go and cure that up Oh my goodness. Fossil dragons are uh, not fun. Okay, let's just go just chainsaw this bug. Why not? Let's go overkill. 993. Dang. It's ridiculous. Oh, so one other thing uh, is that uh, zombie is an effect that carries through between fights. Um, so as you can see, I just came out of a pretty tough battle. Uh, Edgar got zombied, I used a holy water, so then he had like very minimal health, and ugh, it's just a nightmare dealing with. So. Yep, watch out for zombie. There's a reason why the relics on this uh, continent go and um, have an immunity to that. I don't think it's going to be super prevalent uh, where we're heading, but uh, it is prevalent in the area, at least around where we're heading. Alright, we are here in Vector. Let me talk. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Ooh, stop moving! Ugh. Wow! All right, man. You gonna be uh, as disrespectful? Not gonna let me talk to you at least. Jeez! Come on. I don't know, Celeste, you wanna pipe up? Um, dang, I didn't even realize you could pick stuff up here. Um, so there is an inn here. I would highly recommend, uh, or, or, yeah, I recommend against staying there. Because every time you do, uh, you're going to have, uh, a thousand gill stolen from you. Um, it's just a pretty shady place. Instead, if you want to go and use an inn, go into here and talk to her. She'll ask if you're Lloyd's Empire. If you say no, she'll go and um, summon two guards. These are super basic guards from like very beginning of the game, right? 
these are the guys that you were uh, destroying with uh, Terra. Um, I don't know. I think this is overkill, but I don't want to like lose my auto uh, attack status. So yeah, these are the guys in the very beginning in Narsh. Um, basically, super easy to, to kill. And if you kill them, hmm, you just might be able to do it. Listen, please don't give up. And she gives you a fuel full cure, so you can see our HP and MP are restored. So this is where you want to go if you want to restore. Uh, and do not do not go and use the, the in here. Uh, I'm not so sh I'm not sure that there's much more to vector. Um, and then if you go up here, this might be a bit of a suicide mission. Um, So warrior's warrior. Okay, sure, man. You, you're returners. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this fight would come here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, go through this fight. Um, I have not pulled up the Gal Bible in a couple episodes because uh, I don't think there's been any like missable encounters. Um, this might be one of them. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, I think do we see any grass worms outside? Oh, shoot, okay, so it sends us back to the beginning here. It's not very friendly. Okay, so we can go fight him again if we really want. Uh, what's in here? Did this say it was the item store? The pub or something? It's for their own good, really. Okay. Yes. First experimental Magitek Knight. Well, the process hasn't been perfected. Shattered his mind. Yikes. Kafka's I Oh, please forget I said that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you talk to any of these guys, they will go and fight you. Uh, and if you try to go all the way here to the Imperial Palace, you'll be chased off. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, okay. Uh, running, 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 running. This thing is not to be messed with. This is not a fun thing. This is not something I'm going to bother trying to steal from. Um, the Guardian is scary. It is practically invincible. Um, I'm kind of glad I went through that. Kind of show you that it exists. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, so if you, you don't even have to talk to them per se. If you just kind of get close to them, um, they will engage. Um, these guys are pretty tough too, I believe. Um, did I did I miss? Did I put it in wrong or something? Physical attacks are not doing a lot of damage to this proto-armor. I'm going to go and try some magic with uh, Celeste. See how that fares? Yeah, much better. Alright. We 
got a bio blaster for that. And it's gonna send us to the beginning every single time. Huh. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I kind of just want to see. Okay, so this is the exact same fight. I'm going to go cut this out then. Alright, I got in a couple more fights. Uh, I went and swapped around uh, S for the four espers I have just a little bit. Um, but anyway, if you do want to proceed, go and talk to this guy here. Shh, I'm going to return. I've heard all about you. I'll distract the soldiers. You use this box to climb up onto the girder and sneak into the research facility. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. <laughs> Ooh, must have had a few too many. Get out of here, you bum. Yep. You uh hop up on here, hop up on here. And I'm not I'm not moving lock right now. Or or the character. Um they're just moving on their own. You can use this to uh, sneak past them. And once you sneak past them, you can make your way into the... Uh, nope, not that way. This way. You can make your way into the Magitech Research Facility. They call it the Magitech Factory. So there are quite a number of tunnels here that can uh, lead you to other places. Uh, flame tongue. Oh yes. Um, I think I think you also get a blizzard blade in here as well. Um, I'm just gonna go and pull up my handy dandy map of this place because I do not remember this off the top of my head <sighs> all right so yeah so then in addition there are oh okay Yeah, so there are these hooks that you can kind of, or cranes that you can kind of use to uh, get around other areas as well. So in this area, I think, head on the right one first. Uh, I just had uh, Sabin cast Thundara that he learned from Ramu in the last fight. It was uh, it was pretty effective, uh, but I don't know. I just I like this. It's free MP wise. Uh, it does a considerable amount of damage. All right, so that's Ag Edgar and Sabin. Uh, Edgar, I gave magic plus one, and then Sabin, I gave uh, Siren. I think it was HP plus ten percent. I think I'm going to keep, um, oh wait, Celeste's about to level up. I'm going to swap Edgar and, uh, I'm going to get back onto Kieran. I want to give Celeste Kate Sith again? Yes. And then, unfortunately, Locke gets Ramu. It's not really unfortunate, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I know Esper management is something I probably don't need to be doing uh, 
I don't need to be super compulsive about, but I'll be uh, kind of uh, showing you how I'm, I'm, I'm doing that throughout. So if you go down this ladder, you'll find yourself on this conveyor belt and you'll not be able to go back, which is why I did the right tube first. Uh, however, if you go through this tube here, I think this will go and spit you back out to a place where you can get back up to the entrance if you would like. Alright. Gonna cure. Blitz. Rising Phoenix. There we go. Another Bio Blaster. So yeah, you can uh, use this, I believe, to uh, get back somehow. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm gonna cut back to where, where I was. I didn't mean to... <laughs> I didn't mean to <laughs> actually backtrack. All right, we're back here. I'm gonna go hop onto this one. Uh, Thunderblade. Okay. I'm gonna go equip that on Edgar. Um. Then, yeah, I think I, I need to go and take this one. There's that tantalizing chest over there, but we'll be able to get back to it somehow. Uh, do we just go around? Alright, so down here, Dragoon Boots, we already have a pair of those. Two Proto Armors, this new encounter. Alright, I just rearranged Espers again. I'm going to be doing that like every four fights or so, basically. Uh, but what you can do is you can go through here to go and pick up. Uh, this chest right here. And in here is a golden shield. I'm going to equip that to Edgar. Uh, a little bit increase, both, uh, both, uh, magic defense and defense. Um, also, while I'm here, and take this break. Use Cura, or Cure on everyone. Everyone look pretty good HP-wise. Um, pleasantly surprised. And then, can we uh, take this down? No. It's kind of hard sometimes to tell what things you can interact with here and what you can't. Ooh, this is a new uh, formation. Five Onion Knights. Alright, so I think we need to head to the right. Okay, yeah, so if we go back up to here, this is where we kind of like originally started. Uh, you can uh, head into under here and, oh, can't finish the thought. Yep, here we go. Alright, so you can go and enter this tube here. And this tube lets you go over to here. Oh! That was uh, that was the first time that uh, the fire blade has gone and cast fire after. Um, so I think I'll go and show uh, this fight at least. 
four magic AP. Oh my goodness, how close is Edgar to learning? Uh, I've got all the curative spells on Edgar. Uh, Cura, still 65%. This goes like up by like, times one, so it'll take forever to get Cura up. But it's very, very powerful spell. Ice Brand and Zephyr Cloak. I think Zephyr Cloak is a relic. Um, uh, Zephyr Cloak, yes. Higher Evasion. And then the uh, Ice Brand is the ice version of the Flame Tongue and the uh, Thunder Blade. So. Now you have all three uh, sort of staple elemental weapons. Now, where you need to go is you need to go all the way down to the end of this tube and jump out. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like I said, you go to the end and you jump through and this will kick you out over here. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to go this way then. Supposed to hop in here? Okay. There you're supposed to go. Um, like I said, this, this place is a little bit confusing and I have not spent a lot of time. Uh oh. I recognize that laugh. I'm a god. I'm all powerful. Wee, 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 wee. Collect more espers. I'll extract their magic. And then. I'll revive the Warring Triad. I've already drained all your powers. You're useless to me now. You two, take a hike. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, more proto armor. Alright, so I'm gonna go and use this elevator to take me up to here because I think there's two more or maybe three more items to pick up down here. So what you can do is you can go through this door here, and there's golden armor here. I'm going to go equip this on Edgar. Okay. I think everyone else is pretty good. Mithril Vest is not going to be better than the white dress. And then I think there's one more item over here. Right, and here we have Golden Helm. Alright, so we have a full set of Golden Armor. I'm going to put that all on Edgar. Um, he's just going to kind of become a tanky boy, I guess. Uh, and then I will go and... I guess I could cut, but I'm not going to go do that. Oh, this looks like a long way. Ugh. Alright, so I guess, yeah, the only way you can get out of here is, is up these stairs, and you have to kind of go back around the long way. I'm just going to go and run away from any enemies I fight, because I don't want to fight them. Alright, any enemies I encounter, I'm just going to run away from, because I don't want to... I don't want to fight them. I don't know if the encounter rate is, like, higher here, um, but, god, it's annoying. Alright, so we went this way, over this conveyor. Ugh. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing with my espers, but whatever. I'm just, I'm priority stat boosting over uh, learning new spells. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but... Uh, there's going to be many more times to go and get um, uh, AP ability points for learning magic. Now, 
If you talk to either of these two, you'll get dumped into a battle. I highly recommend, instead of doing that, you go into this door here, because there's a save point right behind. Anything here? Oh, recovery water too, okay. So I'm gonna go and save. Uh, um, no, I'm gonna save to a new file, basically. Um, and now we are going to go and talk to these guys that Kafka threw in here. Uh-oh. So this is Ifrit. He is pissed off. So do not use any fire moves on him or he will uh he will uh absorb it. I think can you meet your strike? In addition, um Celeste has the uh oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go and uh start uh runicking here. I might have a uh, lock get on healing duty with potions. Oh no, there's luck gone. Uh, chainsaw is the highest damaging thing, so I'm gonna go use that. Phoenix down lock. I sense a familiar strength. Who are you? You have Ramu's power? Wait. We're espers. So I think you can choose to, to uh, fight either Ifrit or uh, Shiva. And depending on who you fight, uh, it changes uh, sort of uh, what, how the fight breaks down, I believe. Maybe it's always Phoenix. Kind of being a little wasteful with some of that uh, HP, but yeah, I don't really care. Alright, so make sure you go and talk to each of them. Kestal has captured many more of us. They're all here being drained of the powers. Oh, no, you have to... When they finish draining some of our powers, they dump us down here to die. We haven't much time left. We and Ramu are siblings. Each of us born with different elemental power. If Ramu was willing to give you his strength, then we shall do the same. Our friends are also running out of time. I'm sure they'll lend you their strength as well. So there's Shiva... And here's Ifrit. So now we have uh, some things to go and shake up the party. Um, uh, Ifrit. Strength plus one. And then Shiva does not uh, teach you anything, but Rasp and Osmos are incredible uh, spells. I love them. Um, Bazara won't take too long to learn. Alright, I think I'm going to go with Shiva, unless she's about to level up. Uh, I'm okay with Edgar. Now let's go and stick Ifrit on uh, Edgar. So he gets the strength plus one. Locke is currently with Kirin. That's fine. Uh, and then Ramu... Let's wait. I had Celeste. I want you to get Shiva and Sabin. I want you to sure pick up Kate Sith. All right. <laughs> well, I like I said. I'm, I'm trying not to super micromanage everything, but I feel like I feel like you gotta have to. General. Ooh, these are new enemies. Ooh, this is a new uh, chainsaw animation. So that is uh, instant death, basically. 
uh, well, a one-hit kill uh, with the chainsaw. Now, if the enemy is sweet, is immune to, I think, the death spell, uh, just normally, um, I think uh, I think it doesn't really matter. Um, real quick, I think I might be missing an encounter here, unless I encounter it sometime soon. Um, no, there's more of an area afterwards. Trappers. Okay, here we go. This is one encounter I thought I'd missed. Um, Jeez. Already got so many spells. Uh, death cast if level is... Is everyone level 20? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that's unfortunate. That was very, very unlucky. Jeez. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, this will give me a chance to kind of uh, put a close to the, uh, to the episode. I do want to... Um, kind of close things down because it's not I don't know I'm I feel like I feel like we should just kind of close things off here I know not a lot of like big plot points have happened and it's just been adventuring through the Magitech factory um, but I'm uh, I do need to get off to work this is the morning right before right before work so yeah and plus, I, I want to go and double check that I haven't missed anything uh, from anywhere. Alright, I will see you next time.